Hey everybody, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we have head coach Todd Schulenberger here following a couple wins this weekend and then hosting San Diego State this Thursday, uh, the weekend off, no, no game on Sunday. Uh, with that, we'll let coach give an uh, opening statement and then we'll open it to questions. Uh, Cooks had two wins uh, this past weekend, one at Portland on Thursday, which is a really uh, gutsy game coming off an A&M game where <clears throat> A lot of travel and not a lot of rest in between. So that was a big road win. And then uh, on a hot game on Sunday against Weaver, who gave us some fits at times. And, uh, you know, the Cougs continue to get it done out there and got a nice win on Sunday as well. All right. Uh, we will give it to Jamie Vinnick from Cooktown. If you do have <laughs> questions, please raise your hand using the reaction icon. Coach, obviously there's not a whole lot to, uh, you know, to, to be unhappy about at 4-0, but if there's one thing you've seen so far that you want to work on or improve upon, what would that be? Um, I still think we got we got to get better defensively here. Um, you know, when it turns over or just on the other team's buildup. I mean, I think, we're, you know, we're young in some spots, so we got to continue to thrive in that area. Um, I think when we can turn teams over, we're at our best. So uh, I'd say we just got to keep growing in that aspect, be a great team defensively individually small group and as a whole collective group you know it, it seemed like a lot of times last year um it was either margie scoring or, or offense was maybe at times hard to come by we've obviously seen a handful of different scores this year where do you think maybe you've seen the depth offensively improve uh we, we, number one they're, they're more calm cool collect in front of goal that's one that's as a group <clears throat> then i think we have we're deeper we have more depth um, and we got kids up there not afraid to, to take chances, which I think is important for a goal. I mean, you can get up there and get cold feet quick. So uh, the shots are off. The shots are, uh, as I've been saying, of quality right now, and that's our focus, not just quantity, and uh, repetition and practice, and, and so far so good. Just kind of uh, in speaking specifically with Margie, you know, we obviously saw her scoring prowess last year, but it does seem like she's taken steps in her ability to create for others, and, you know, she's had some – some pretty impressive assists. Have you? Where have you maybe seen her passing uh, take a step from last year? Well, yeah. When you're <clears throat> when everyone's sky report, you got to bring something else to the party, right? So not only has she got to be a great goal scorer, she's got to be goal scorer. Has got to also be able to play make, right? Create stuff for themselves, but also create stuff for other people in the final pass. So we're always trying to continue with Margie, get better on her final pass, her final touches around goal. Um, once she continues to do that, she's now a two sided player, and it makes her game even grow anymore. Do you have uh, any update on Grayson and Jenna? No, not this time. Nope, we don't. Thanks, Coach. Yep, no problem. All right, we'll give it over to Joe Rudo with the Daily Evergreen. Coach, um, two Bridget Riken, uh Defensive Player of the Week for the Pac-12, two weekly Pac-12 honors so far this season, none last year. What does that speak about the growth that the team's had, and like, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, it's very good to get those recognitions for these young ladies. It is obviously a team sport, so they got great teammates around them that's helping them survive and, and succeed. And uh, it's great for Cougs to get recognition, especially these players. And uh, again, it's just it's two weeks. It's great. I don't want to downplay that by any means because it's well deserved. There's a lot more on the table out there to get going for. Coach, what do you uh, what do you know about San Diego State, and what are you preparing for on Thursday? Uh, well, they're, they're a really good team. Great coaching staff. Um, they're off to a good start. Uh, you know, they're going to try to keep the ball, and uh, they're dangerous. I mean, they got some great attackers. they got a great back line, great goalkeeping. So uh, it'll be a battle like it is always with those guys, and uh, we're excited to host them here on Thursday. All right, good luck.